Now, that's always a goal. Oh, that's a great one to share. Right, that's that shared. Fantastic stuff. Um, <coughs> before he became Sir Matt, yes, he would just be Matt Busby. My granddad was John Wallace. Ah, famous name. How amazing. Isn't it wonderful? And in those days, they wouldn't be playing for big money. I mean, nowadays, your granddad, you know, there would have been a window and he'd have got bought up for, for millions. Wonderful. S superb. And of course, Matt Busby would have known him, so he may have got a game for Man U. Uh, so I'm going to have my lunch. Have a lovely day, Scotty. Stay safe. And you, Susan Shaw. Lovely to have you on. Dinky do. Scotty, what's your favourite fact about Scotland? Uh, that the original boat person came across in something much smaller than a rubber dinghy on a very, very wild crossing and ended up coming in as an immigrant to Scotland and started Christianity in 534, St. Columba. Yes, St. Columba. So there we are. So we never know. There goes Christ in a stranger's guise. There goes Christ in the stranger's guise. Very, very interesting. So there we are. So I would say that's one of my favorite facts about Scotland. Also that the monarchy is a Scottish institution. And the Scottish monarchy took over the English crown. There we are. So we need to support our monarchy big time. Wonderful. What other facts? The facts that Scotland subsidizes the UK. There's another fact for you. Did you know, Scott, in the 1960s, you could get Baird's televisions after the inventor himself? Yes, they were. There was a company, but there was also a beard system. <clears throat> I think that was the one with the cardboard and the discs. And John Reith did not adopt the beard system for the BBC. He adopted another system. But here's a wee fact that you won't know. John Reith was an engineer, and he studied at the Royal Technical College, now Strathclyde University. And one of his fellow students there was a young man from Helensburgh called John Logie Beard. So they'd met as students at the Royal Technical College as young engineers. Nice seeing you, says Margaret Delia. Have I said that right? Delia. Margot Delia. Is that right, Margot? Uh, wonderful. Dinky do to you. Lovely to have you with us. And welcome, welcome, welcome. A fantastic program this morning, I say. So there we are. Now, um, I think it's time I pushed off. You guys are wanting to get on. Make sure you subscribe. Very, very important. Everybody subscribe to Scotty McClure's YouTube channel. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about it. I want to come back home to Scotland before I pop my clogs, Scotty. I'm 64 now. And where is it you are at the moment, Tam? Just tell us once or again. You'll not be popping your clogs for another 50 years. So you can take your time, 50 years anyway. A minimum of 50 years. So fantastic stuff. Uh, where is it you are, you're, you're, Tam? Just remind us all where you are right now. Tremendous. We like that. We like that. That's excellent. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10, I say. Wonderful. So uh, we'll uh, we'll see what's what. Right. Time I wasn't here. Push off time. This is Scotty McClure saying dinky do to every single one of you. Thanks for joining us this morning. Thanks for being part of our random pop-up. And I'll see you on again soon. Gordon Robertson, nice to have you pop up again, Scotty. Goodbye from me and a mischievous Oliver and a mischievous Gordon as well. No doubt. Uh, Stratford, Scotty, you're in Stratford. Fantastic. Well, I send love to Stratford and love to every single one of you. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. Auf Wiedersehen, au revoir, and a cheerio. Have a lovely day, guys. Dinky-doo.